Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So earlier this morning, Global got a brand new data download. And today, as always, we're going to check out exactly what's going on together. So as you guys can see, we are on the DBZ Space website and there are two new units scheduled for release. The first one is the Tech Super Saiyan Kid Goten. And the other one, of course, is the Dokkan Fest STR Videl and their banner is gonna be dropping tonight at 5 p.m. Pacific time or 8 p.m. Eastern time, which obviously is much earlier than the average banner release time for Global, because typically we get our new banners at like 11 p.m. Pacific or 2 a.m. Eastern, right? But I think the reason this banner is dropping so early is because that's the time when the uh, anniversary banners are leaving and they don't want to have any, you know, period in between where there's no stone banner available at all. So once again, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, I should be able to go live as soon as the banner drops for some live summons. So if you guys want to see that, then definitely keep an eye out for the stream. But with that said, let's uh, pop over to Twitter here. And a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting the assets from this data download. Make sure you guys follow him if you aren't already doing so. And let's scroll down just a little bit here. And uh, we're starting with the SSR assets for the Dokai Fest Medel. And then we have her TUR assets along with the costume change. So basically, she starts off as the long hair or pigtail Medel. And then once you pop her active skill, she goes into the uh, short hair Medel. So we got both assets there. And then some more super attack assets. And then these are the translated assets for the side unit on the banner, the Tech Gohan. So, or sorry, Tech Goten. So he starts off as this base Goten. And then he'll token awaken into the Super Saiyan Kid Goten. And uh, we also have the token awakening medal for Adele from her Dokkan event. We have uh, some assets for a new support memory called the Secret Feelings. And these are the lines. And what else do we have? Oh, uh, Extreme Z Awakenings. Almost forgot about this. So we have two new free-to-play Extreme Z Awakenings. The first one is for the Int Teen Gohan. And these are his Extreme Z Awakening medals, of course. And then the other one is for the AGL Yamu and Spopovich. So these are their Extreme Z area slash Extreme Z Awakening medals as well. And uh, that pretty much does it, guys. Those are, as far as I can tell, all the assets from this data download. Basically, the uh, Videl uh, Toe Contest banner, uh, along with the Kid Goten, of course, and then the Extreme Z Awakenings for the Yamu and Spokovich, and also the Int uh, Gohan slash Saiyan Man. And yeah, I, I think that's all. Oh, of course, the new support memory, too. And by the way, for anybody curious, the new support memory, uh, Secret Feelings, is available from the uh, Videl Learns to Fly event, and the effect is Majin Buu Saga, Category Allies, Key Plus 2, for two turns from the start of battle, so uh, pretty decent. I mean, obviously Majin Buu Saga is still one of the best categories in the game, so getting some extra key, especially for those LRs, is, uh, is pretty nice. And right before we go, I just want to quickly go over the Extreme Z Awakening details for the Int Gohan and also the Yamu and Spopovich, because I don't think I've gone through them in uh, a previous video before. So, uh, starting with the Gohan here, his leader skill is Defenders of Justice, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or super class key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 40%, super attack causes supreme damage, and the passive is transforms into the Hero of Love and Justice as a disguise. So basically, um, he's kind of like the Rebrian, where as soon as he enters the battle, then he'll transform into Great Saiyan Man. And for Great Saiyan Man, Super Attack uh, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack and defense. And then his passive is attack and defense plus 158%, and chance of performing a critical hit and chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks, plus 18%. And then key plus 5 plus an additional attack and defense plus 58% when attacking extreme class enemies, reduces damage received by 28% when there is a Pepe Gauss or Youth category ally 
attacking in the same turn. Character Super Attack will be sealed, plus an additional damage reduction of 30% when there is a Peppy Gals or Youth category enemy. Okay, so uh, overall, really, really good, you know, Extreme Z Awakening for a free-to-play unit. Um, you don't want to take him on any event, though, where there is going to be a Peppy Gals or Youth category enemy because he does get his Super Attack sealed, which is unfortunate. Uh, his links are Brain Hacks, Saiyan Lineage, Patrol, Signature Pose, Hero of Justice, Supreme Power, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga, Transformation Boost, Goku's Family, Siblings Bond, Special Pose, and Defenders of Justice. So uh, there you go. That is the Gohan slash Saiyan Man Extreme Z Awakening. And quickly going over the Yamu and Spopovich leader skill is World Tournament Category Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or Extreme Class Q plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 40%, super attack, supreme damage, and lowers attack and defense, and recovers 7% HP. And passive is attack and defense plus 90%, key plus 2 plus an additional attack plus 20% with each super attack performed, plus an additional defense plus 20% with each attack received up to 160%, and disables enemy's guard when attacking super class enemies. Links for beatdown, evil autocrats. Uh, Demonic Power, Berserker, Tough as Nails, Coward, and Shattering the Limit. And categories at World Tournament, Majibu Saga, Joint Forces, Terrifying Conquerors, Earthlings, and Corroded Body and Mind. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we could quickly talk about their Extreme Z area here. I'll just show you what that looks like. So, yeah, it's stage 4 and 5 for this uh, Majin Buu Saga Extreme Z area. And for stage 4, we get the medals for the Gohan. Stage 5, we get the medals for Iyamu and Spopovich. And just like before, there's only a certain number of characters you're allowed to bring. So this is the pool that you have to choose from. So uh, hopefully you guys have enough to build a team. And uh, yeah, that about does it for today's video. That is today's data download update. Hope you guys are uh, somewhat excited at least for the Videl. I know a lot of people plan to skip, which is totally fine because obviously we do have the worldwide celebration around the corner. Uh, I will be releasing a video in about, I want to say like two hours from now where I go over the Videl banner in detail, uh, go over the unit in detail, and just uh, talk about, you know, what I think the average Dokkan player should do with their stones as far as the Videl banner is concerned. But um, yeah, for now, in terms of the data download, that's all I got to say. That is today's video. Uh, just a quick reminder, 5 p.m. Pacific, guys. 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, about 8 hours. Actually, probably less than 8 hours from the time this video comes out. And uh, I'll be live at that time. So if you guys can make the stream, then definitely be there. If you can't, not a huge deal because I will be hosting it after. But that's it guys that's gonna be today's video thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.